Welcome back to our Celebrity Suites. I'm Ethan and I actually don't need to hold this and it'll still stay. Today we're going to be making a treat inspired by the new IT movie, IT Chapter 2, which came out. And before we get started, let me just say, calm down. As I was saying, if there's one thing you should know about me, is that I hate scary movies. Like, who watches them? They're too scary. I, I just can't watch these scary movies. However, I know a little bit about Pennywise. That's the main character of It. Um, he's a clown. And you know Halloween is coming up, which Halloween's my favorite holiday. I just like the fun. I like the candy part of it. So I want to make a treat inspired by It. And since I don't like It, I need to make something that I actually like. And I like waffles. I've also seen a lot of like waffle cakes float around. It will do. It will do. So I'm going to make one of those. The It ingredients for this recipe are milk, oil, flour, strawberries, eggs, baking soda, sugar, vanilla extract, and salt. We've made waffles on the channel before, however, today I want to make strawberry waffles. I just thought like the red kind of fit our theme. The first thing we want to do in creating this waffle is start adding in all of our dry ingredients. This will be your flour, baking powder, sugar. We need sugar. We need something in this recipe something in this movie to make it sweet, and salt. Add these all into your bowl and whisk it up. Like, I didn't even like looking up pictures of him on the internet. I've whisked together all of our dry ingredients and now we're gonna work with our wet ingredients. Isn't that like the premise of it? See, I didn't do any research for this one because I don't wanna know about it. I just don't. I made a well in our dry ingredients, which is kind of like the sewer, right? It lives in a sewer. It's his name, right? Penny, Pennywise, I knew that. Pennywise lives in a sewer, right? And then this kid in a raincoat comes by with a balloon. I'm gonna add all of our milk and our oil to our dry ingredients and whisk it up. When you've added in your oil and milk, your batter should still be lumpy. We don't want to overmix this because we still want light and fluffy waffles. I've had our eggs just sitting over here and before we can add them to our waffles, this balloon really gets in the way. Are you okay? I'm going to start by cracking in both of our eggs into a smaller bowl and using a fork just mix them up. After you've beaten up your eggs, add it to your waffle batter and mix it up just until everything is incorporated. We've done enough mixing to this batter that we actually want to switch over to like folding. So to fold, I like to use a spatula. And what we're going to fold in is our fresh strawberries. I've got about a cup here of fresh strawberries that will go into this waffle and also some vanilla extract. We've got our waffle batter completely made and let's start making some waffles. Over here I've got the waffle iron, it's heating up, doing its thing. And I've also got a half scoop measurement of measurement to make sure we get even amounts of waffles. Since we're making this like a cake and we want it to be kind of circular, um, I kind of want to like overflow the waffle, that way I can trim off any of the excess. So I found a half a balloon. So I found that half a cup is pretty, pretty good for this size waffle. I'm just talking and talking. If you're actually listening, that's fine. I'm just waiting for this to say it's ready. It's ready. Scoop your waffle batter into your waffle iron. Whoa, that was a lot of work for a waffle. But now let's make a few more. So I've gone ahead and made all of the waffles. And if you notice, I actually cut them in half because I want to make our cake a little different. Basically, it's just a half a cake. I don't want to make the full round because I want a flat side of our cake to put Pennywise's face onto, if you understand. Now, since this is a waffle cake, I thought of it much like a cake, and I've got some of those components over here. I've got my buttercream frosting over here. Also, when I make my cakes, I like to soak them in simple syrup, but let's skip the simple and just go straight to syrup, since this is a waffle. So I've got syrup here. I'm gonna take one of our waffles and sprinkle some syrup right on top. I don't want too much because I don't want it to become soggy. Just a little bit to give it some flavor. Then I'll spread on a thin layer of frosting and then add on some fresh strawberries. I'll repeat this process all the way up to the top, soaking, stacking, and filling with strawberries. Once you've topped off your waffle with the final layer, now I want to do a quick crumb coat. Basically just taking more of our frosting and spreading a thin layer around the entire cake. 
I finished my crumb coat and now I want to pop this in the fridge to allow this layer to set up, just harden, firm up a little bit before we add on our next layer of frosting. This is going to be a little bit challenging. Can you move out of the way so I can move? When your crumb coat has chilled, go back and spread on that thicker layer of frosting around your entire waffle. To round off this waffle, I want to top it with a thin sheet of fondant. I just rolled out some white marshmallow fondant, smooth it out around the sides and the front. This balloon is really bothering me. And then trim off any of the excess. I covered our waffle cake in fondant and it looks perfect. I mean, it looks just like a half little cake. I mean, what else is there to say? However, we can finish off this cake now with the decorations. For the decorations, I went online and actually found this. It was like a coloring sheet. I don't know who wants to color this, but I blew it up so it would fit our cake. And I then went ahead and made those decorations out of some candy melts. He lost his little horn on this one, but we'll piece it back together. But here's his face. I just made this out of red, black, yellow, and white candy melts. And then can we talk about Pennywise's barber? I made his hair like this, like, and however, it's not going to fit the length of our thing, so I'm actually going to trim it down. And then I also made another one because I kind of wanted to give it more of like a 3D effect on the top. Oh, well, I guess I don't need to break that side. Let me just trim this side off too. Before we add on any of these details, I want to kind of make him dirty. I mean, he's a sewer clown, right? So I've got some cocoa powder here. I'm going to kind of brush this just in a few places over our white fondant because this is too clean and also over his hair because it's not this bright orange it's kind of more like a burnt orange color and the cocoa powder is just going to help give us that effect all right so let's start putting this face on our cake this balloon is just kind of in the way i'm going to start with our orange hair pieces specifically starting with the side i'm going to take those hair pieces and butt them up against the cake press in and then go back with a knife and score along the line then insert in that hair piece. For the top, I'll also score a little slit and add on that funky piece of hair as well. For Pennywise's face, I've melted down some red candy melts and I'm just gonna brush a little bit onto the back of all of our details. I think I'm gonna start with the mouth because I want that kind of at the bottom of our cake. Then I'll work my way up adding on those eyes and kind of like his makeup or effects. They kind of look like horns, but really they're just like makeup, I think. Then I'll go back and add on his little nose at the end. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bring the treat back. That's right. Here we have it, our Pennywise-inspired waffle cake that we made today. This cake, which is made entirely out of waffles, stacked with whipped cream frosting, strawberries, and syrup, turned out to be something kind of creepy. However, I will say, if I was trapped in a sewer with this, I would be fine. Maybe. And if you have any other requests for another celebrity sweets, leave those down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And until next time, save your life and make it sweet. It's kind of scary, too. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And while you're at it, subscribe. You can do that by clicking this cute little donut right here. If you're looking for more content, up here is my latest video. And down here is what YouTube thinks you should watch. That's all for today. I will see you guys in the next video.